The live concert experience. There's nothing else like it. It's a different atmosphere hearing it live as opposed to a CD because there's sudden there's subtle differences when they're playing it live. Definitely if they have a unique sound, if they put on a great show with their you know, they're good at visuals and energy and um, if the venue is, is really great and has great, you know, sound and, and sight lines and things like that. So there's like a lot of things that factor into it. There are a lot of things that factor into it, but it's basically if the environment is right, then uh, it's a great time. The feeling of going to a show is so addictive, people will travel far and wide just to see their favorite bands perform. The farthest I've gone was flying from here to Los Angeles to see Nine Inch Nails for what was supposedly their last concert or one of their last concerts ever. Now we know that that's not, that was a total lie, but you know what, that was one of the best week, I don't know how long was that, two weeks of concerts that I went to because I saw them here and then I saw them there and that was probably the best ever. Finland? <laughs> <laughs> and that was to see him? Yeah, four nights in a row. Wow. Yeah, but you know, whatever. <laughs> obvious reason for going to a concert is to see one of your favorite artists in their element. But that's not the only benefit to going to a performance. You make a bunch of friends like worldwide when you're following certain bands and whatnot so if there's like an annual thing where you know your friends are going to go to then why not? Just bring in the new year with mm -hmm. people that you enjoy. Yeah and I've, I've met plenty of people from concerts who I still talk to. Um, there's one couple I met when I was waiting to see Nine Inch Nails. I kept being friends with them, and since then, like, we'll have, like, we'll get together, because one of them is an artist, so we'll, like, draw together, and after that, like, they got married, and now they had their first daughter, so it's, like, I've known them this all these years, and they've, like, gone through all these, like, milestones, which is pretty cool. You have, like, moments like a uh, Blacklight Burns show afterwards when Wes just jumps into the, the crowd. Mm -hmm. That's like, who would have thought in a billion years? That's <laughs> <laughs> true. It's, it's a lot more fun than just, oh, I'm going to watch a DVD of the show. And it's just like, you know? <laughs> I think it was the first time I noticed an artist actually want to put time aside to meet his fans, and all of them, take pictures with each one of them, so... Like, directly after the show? Yeah, because you know how other people just, like, they, they fart off into their dressing rooms? So it's like, once they're done doing their job of performing, they're done. Mm -hmm. He's just like, hey, I'll just hang out, whatever. I met Davey Havoc, and that was cool, because I was, like, 15 and really impressionable. Uh -huh. And I, was, I remember, oh, my sister, that was, like, one of the, the other ones my sister took me, because my mom wouldn't let me go alone. And a bunch of my friends from high school were going. At some point I lost my sister and I run into this kid I knew from school and then he was like, let's go, and this was at Roseland. So he's like, I'm gonna try to get upstairs to the VIP. And I was, you know, I, I didn't know that was a hard thing to do and I was like, okay. And so we just went to the stairs and the security guard was there and we were like, can we go upstairs? And he's like, okay, but don't jump off. And I, I was like, why would he say that? Why would it, why would we jump off? 
you know, I didn't know that this is something that happens at concerts. So we get up, at, and also I totally forgot about my sister trying to find her. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go up to the VIP section. And so we went up, and you know, we're just standing around not knowing what to do because we can't drink. And then out comes Davey Havoc, and this, uh, Paige, whatever his last name is, plays bass. And I'm like, what? And so my friend is really gutsy, and so he goes up to him and says hi, and then I'm like, can I take a picture? Then we just stayed up there and watched Rancid from the VIP section, 15 years old. That's awesome. Uh, and yeah, and then I guess I saw my sister from up there too, because she was like <laughs> being bumped around. And I was like, oh yeah, my sister. So then at the end, I, after, after they were done playing, I went down and found my sister, and she was mad at me, but then was she it. was like, don't tell mom I lost you. Right. So it was a uh, win-win. That's cool. You still have that picture? Of us together? Yeah. yeah. I look at it and make fun of myself all the time when I see it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. been to a concert, check one out. We're lucky enough to live in a state where we have plenty of venues to see bands in. From small venues to big venues, even arenas, there are plenty of places where you can catch all genres of music in person. The one thing to keep in mind when you do go is to be present. Take it all in. The sights, the sounds, even the smells the rush that you get when the feedback rises and the crowd starts to scream is unmatched. Definitely a, a cool hobby to have as long as you're safe. It makes for good memories. I obviously have a lot of good memories of it. Um, I think as soon as I was able to you know, pay and go to as many as I wanted, I did, and I'm glad I did. Also a good way to just explore new music. You're not obligated to be in the front. You could stand in the back, you could stand in the balcony, and still enjoy it, you know? Mm -hmm. There's a spot for everyone in the venue. <laughs>